creation. I was having lunch with a friend, not a believer. He's a thinker, scientist. And he was saying to me, you know what? What I don't get about creation is, is why is it so big? If God really created the world like the Bible teaches, then I'm going to struggle with that. He, he, said, he said, I need to know if your Bible teaches that God created the world with a purpose. Because if he does, I'm going to really struggle with that. And I thought he'd struggle with it, you know, like the whole evolutionary thing, you know, or creation thing. I, you know, so I, I said, well, I said, the Bible teaches that God did create the world, the universe, and he did it with a purpose. And he's like, oh, bummer. I, I can't go there. I said, why? When he said, surprise me. He said, because it's such a massive waste of space. If God is all intelligent and all knowing and perfect, why would he make something so inefficient? So much superfluous stuff out there. I mean, we have the earth, and we live on the earth, and then there's all this stuff around there, galaxies and universes and polar, you know, solar quasars, so-and-sos, and why? What a profound waste of resources. We don't need any of that to survive as humans. I said, ah, I see your problem. He said, what? I said, well, if you took a screwdriver and said, this is a stupid screwdriver. Why is it a stupid screwdriver? Because I can't hit this nail into the piece of the board with it. I'd say, ah, not a stupid screwdriver, stupid user. <laughs> the screwdriver wasn't designed to hammer in a nail. The screwdriver was designed to screw in a screw. So don't judge the purpose of, of something that's been created if you're using it wrongly. Something will only make sense if it's being used for that which it was created to accomplish. The problem you don't get the, the universe is because you think the universe exists for all the wrong reasons. You think the universe exists to sustain your pathetic little life. I said it to him. He chuckled. I said, but if I could prove to you the universe exists for a different reason... It might make more sense to you. We open up to Psalm 19, 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the sky above proclaim his handiwork. Day by day they pour out speech. And night to night they reveal knowledge. There is no speech. There are no words whose voice is not heard. What's the psalmist saying? He's saying... There's no tribe, tongue, language on the planet, no culture on the planet that can't look around it and understand what creation is saying. And the psalmist is saying, Jesus put stars and galaxies and universes into place for the express and sole purpose, not of sustaining your life, but of standing there and in their existing saying, God is awesome. That's why they exist. That's the sole purpose for their existence, to stand there and to say, Him be glorified. God made stars, and he said, your job is to make me look really good, like I am. 